Yeah, hi. In this session, I am going to show you on what kind of reports fixed assets have and and how to how you can execute those reports. So, to execute the reports, um, the fixed assets, uh, you need to go here um, using uh, the screen here, um, accounting and financial accounting and fixed assets. Then um, the information systems. There you have uh, reports on asset accounting. So this is a one way you can you can go here so the system will show all the reports available these are all standard reports which will meet all your local needs you know? and uh, you have a lot of options where you can add or maintain different uh, fields wherever you want in the report standard reports itself yeah so um, uh, that actually uh, how to maintain those like a versions uh, it will be covered in the intermediate level. So don't expect all these in this same and the, the deep dive will be gone um, in the next sessions uh, in the intermediate level, yeah. So here you can see um, the asset balances and individual assets. So individual asset usually is, a, is called asset explorer. So you can go using this transaction or there is a master T code. So you can see here now and um, uh, system is actually showing here is uh, SAP Easy Access. Yeah? But when you enter a master T code, which I'm going to uh, show you now, and uh, this will be um, uh, come as a asset accounting information systems here. So SAP is so smart, they have uh, given you master T code, which will give you is this what is the master t code yeah so you are maybe surprised to know the master t code uh, for this is uh, called t code f i a a so this is the t code so if you see my previous videos on on this training report painter yeah, you have FIAR, FIAP, so likewise, yeah, you have a FIAA, yeah, so this is where you can see. So now you go individual uh, reports, here is Asset Explorer, Asset Balances, so here you can see the balances for the assets. So when you uh, drill down, so you can see by asset number, or you can go by asset class, or you can go by business area, cost center, and by a plant or location or asset super number by work list items. So you can have your own work list. So every time um, when you log in, yeah. So when I go by asset number, so what is the main difference between this T code and this T code? So I will show the, the, the side by side, so which will be more easier, yeah. So um, if you go to the, again, the same T code FIAA. So here in this T code, yeah. So when you go, when I, when I actually go back and then double click here. So it, the, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> The, the system is actually only changing very flexibly for you. You don't need to see more information on the selections, yeah? So actually they are hiding some of the information here, but whenever you are clicking, this is all actually in one report, to be honest with you, yeah? but they are actually controlling and in the each level here 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 right so now you see this is the one is going to change when i actually um, go by business area now so i show asset number the asset number showed um, here uh, in this instead of asset class previously it shows asset number so now the system is going to show the business area. So now you see business area. So this is the, the smart thing, um, but uh, yeah, you, you, you can have 
the purpose of this is if you have any authorization controls like only a particular business area must be viewed by a different people then yes you can have this um, uh, give these reports to them to see the data so now if you expand what happens so if you really look into this is the T code are very smart they have given so many T codes for the asset class sorry and uh, so here one minute so when you go by asset number there is nothing yeah so you, you don't see anything so now when I expand this so what the system is doing here for you is smartly it is if it is asset number it's only showing this and if it is asset class it's only showing here this one and if it is a business area it's only the business area showing and there is a cost center and the system is only showing cost center so when there is a plant yes the plant is showing and the location is the location and that's a super number is the super number and the final one is a work list is a work list yeah. so it's like you don't need to go by individual or you can expand using this option here so where the system is able to show you the more details and um, in in the same screen yeah so every time you don't need to go uh, into the different transactions so this is the beauty of uh, this t code so the name is always asset balances there won't be any change yeah so yeah this is how you can see the asset balances now let's come to the inventory list so in the case of inventory list so you can also see that and if i go by inventory list when i double click on this by cost center you can have if you maintain the inventory numbers for the each asset the system will show the inventory numbers so it's the same thing here also if you see here the system is also the smart where is actually showing the what you call the cost center location and also asset class here yeah so um, this is where you can see and also the plant yeah so they don't give many and um, but uh, yeah there is additional details are shown uh, here in this screen if you see by cost center sorry um, just a minute I just again I want to show you here the asset uh, cost center is this is the cost center and location is this is the location and uh, asset class is this is the asset class and again the plant which is a the plant so you can easily expand using this uh, when when the system is automatically show you uh, where I'm um, here so this is actually yeah so this is actually how you can analyze the reports like um, uh, how to use uh, using this different uh, uh, different reports yeah